and in Edo State Government on Tuesday evening demolished property belonging to a former Deputy Governor of the State, Pio Sodubu, a former Secretary to the State Government, Professor Julius Inhove, and that of a sports marketer, Mike Etemwabo. The former Deputy Governor said the incident was unfortunate adding that the matter was already before the court of law after the government announced the revocation of the certificate of occupancy. A judicial pronouncement before executing the verdict of the court that has not even been given in court, the verdict of the court that, not, that have not even been given we are operating a democratic system of government where the rule of law reigns supreme. At then and now, it was complacent. Because he could you know, basically know that what Adam Oshumale was doing at that time, he could have said, well, I'm not going to be part of this. I'm not taking it. Why would you not take it? And after many years, you come back now, oh, I'm, re I'm returning back. What I, what I took from Adams, I think what he did was illegal. Let me tell you something. What Godwin Obaseki is doing is playing what you call judge and jury. Because he's the executive governor, he has immunity and he can do anything. And besides that, I also read from various newspapers online and all that, that Pius Igbirami Odubo, the former deputy governor, had a CFO. I think he would have let the court decide Instead of him, you serving more power to himself to destroy those things, especially when there were people living in that same building. Um, it's a good development for me because uh, this is uh, an eye opener for the masses of the people to know those that are stealing directly and indirectly from the public. You cannot say because uh, you were once a deputy governor or SLG to the government that you take over government properties. This property belongs to the people. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.